Welcome back, friends. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to place a photo or an image in text and make the background transparent so you can place your text on a different background. So stay tuned. So I'm starting off with a YouTube channel thumbnail. It is the size of 1280 pixels by 720 pixels. And I'm going to start off by placing some text on my workspace. And in this text, I'm going to type rose. Now, this method for placing a photo inside text uh, will work whether you have a logo or whether you have text on your workspace. It really doesn't matter. But I'm going to use this text here and I'm just going to make it a little bit larger and I'm going to go over to elements and I'm going to grab a shape. Now I want to put a rectangle on my workspace, but I don't see rectangle here. I can say see all and I don't see rectangle either, but you can just click on your workspace and type R and that will place a rectangle right on your workspace. Now I'm going to make this rectangle the size of my text. And I'm going to change the color of my rectangle to black. And I'm going to go over to position. I'm going to go over to layers. And I'm going to move that black rectangle behind my text. I'm now going to grab my text and I'm going to change the color of my text to white. And when you're creating the rectangle, just make sure that uh, the rectangle is just slightly larger than the text and you've got a lot of white space around your text box. I'm now going to go to share and download and I'm going to download this design as a PNG. I'm going to add another page and let me just close that and I'm going to bring that PNG back into my workspace like this. Now, if you don't have Google Chrome where you can just grab and drag into your workspace, just go over to Uploads, Upload Files, find that design that you downloaded and bring it back into Canva. We're now going to remove the background. So I'm going to go to BG Remover and I'm going to click BG Remover one more time just to check to make sure that the background was removed. All right, so we're Okay, I'm now going to go over to elements and I'll click the back arrow there to go back to the search bar and I'm going to search for roses because I want to place roses in there. So when I'm going to select a photo, I'm just going to say see all and I'm going to place this one right here in that design. And I'm just going to crop it as much as I can and just place that right inside like that. And I'm going to move or reposition that to behind that text. And I'll just grab both of those like that. And I'll make them a little bit larger like this. Now. Now, if all you want is a white background with the word rose, then what we can do right now is we can go to edit and we can go to duotone and we can change that black layer to white. So I'm just going to grab the shadows and I'm going to move the circle all the way up to the whitest of whites. And I'm going to do the same thing to highlights. I'm going to grab the highlights and move it up to the whitest of whites. Now, if all you want is to create a white background with a photo behind text, this will do the trick. But if you want to take this word and put it behind a different background, then you have to do one more step. And this one more step can get very 
tricky. Now, before you download this design, the background of this image is white. And if we download it and re-upload it back into Canva and remove the background, then it's going to remove the white background. But if you have white running through your text, it's also going to remove that white background too. So when you're doing this step, you need to make sure that you're using a color for your background of that word that you won't find in your photo. Okay, but I'm going to download it because I know that the white is going to work. So I'll just go to share. I'm going to download. I'm going to download this as a PNG and I'm not going to tick off transparent because I know that it's not transparent. I still have that white box that's around rows and I don't want to tick off transparent. I just want to download it as is and I'm only going to download page two. And I'll create another page and I'll grab that file and bring it back in. OK, so here is my file. So one last step we have to do if we want to be able to use this image against another background is we have to go to BG Remover and remove the background. All right, let's go back into BG Remover to check. And there we go. So we can see that the background has been removed. So I'm just going to crop this right now like this. And what can we do with this now? Well, you can apply a shadow if you like. So we can go into shadows and we can apply a nice um, drop shadow like that. And if the distance is too far, you can adjust the distance. You can also adjust the intensity if you like. And that is pretty much it. I truly hope that you did enjoy this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to press that like button and subscribe. And if you want to learn more about Canva and all the great stuff you can do with Canva, join my YouTube channel membership. I go live every week to teach my adult learners what they want to know. For now, my friends, I will say bye bye until next time. Bye bye.